Hey, hey, my name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We are continuing the Becoming Your Own Banker series by talking about this book, Becoming Your Own Banker by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we're talking about this book is because this is Infinite Banking 101, all the fundamentals, the foundation that you need to understand this concept. Mm -hmm. And today's video, we are gonna be talking about the golden rule, which can be found on page 31 through 33. Now, the golden rule that we know it uh, is do, do unto, unto others, others as you would want done to you, basically. Mm -hmm. So treat people how you want to be treated. However, there is another golden rule, if you may or may not know this, but the other golden rule is he, he who has the gold makes the rules. Mm -hmm. Pretty powerful. He who has the gold makes the rules. In turn, meaning whoever has the money is making the rules. Yep. Whoever has the money makes the decisions. And Nelson, in the first section of this, this, this page, talks about the fact that we become so infatuated with living for today that we don't save money and we don't think about the power of capital. Mm -mm. And if you take a look at like our statistics, like the, our savings as a nation is very, very low. It's not where it should be. Mm -hmm. And when he, wrote this book it was in the negative yeah last time we looked at it, it was like at five percent yeah according to cnbc mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that goes to show you that when it comes to saving we are not saving at all and by not saving we go to somebody else to take care of our necessities mm -hmm. we have to borrow the money yeah we, we end up financing everything mm -hmm. and that puts us in the hands of the banking institutions. Right. And we talked a little bit earlier in a previous video about the American dream, where when we talk about this American dream, it's all about home ownership, owning cars, owning these things. But when you think about it, you don't own anything. It's mm -hmm. really the banks who own it, <laughs> who are creating the rules and making up all of the terms for how much interest you're going to pay them back. Right. Right, so when we talk about he who has the gold makes the rules, what else is, uh, wh what possessions do you own that are actually owned by somebody else? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Your stuff is basically just on lease. <laughs> <laughs> you don't necessarily own a lot of things because you're paying the bank every single month unless you pay cash outright for something. Right, and granted that's not, not everyone, no. but mm -hmm. the majority of uh, people actually do this. Mm -hmm. And I like, in another section where he kind of brings it all home saying that we know that there is uh, something in play mm -hmm. we just don't know exactly what it is yeah, yeah and for the most part what we do is we don't take responsibility for the banking function in our life no and we look to somebody else to do it for us and manage it yeah and what happens is they end up earning all the money that we could have owned if we understood banking yes yes and, and that's exactly what infinite banking is all about mm -hmm. finance every single thing that you would have financed through a third party yeah and just with the stats that we were talking about, so when we looked at an article by CNBC, it was like 10% of the entire United States population has $10,000 of savings, mm -hmm. and that's it. <laughs> so that's significant when you think about our entire population, that only 10% of the people have $10,000 liquid capital to access. And the other piece of it was that the average American has $15,000 of, it's credit card debt specifically, right? Yes. So when we think about that, we're talking to everyone in America basically at this point because we all either have credit cards, have car notes, have mortgages, have, are financing something by a financial institution. Mm -hmm. And if you take the time to just do the math and realize how much interest the banks are getting from you, that's why they're able to call the shots. Yeah, one way or another, we finance everything we buy, whether we pay cash and lose our opportunity to earn interest or we borrow it and we pay somebody else interest mm -hmm. just because we don't understand that banking function mm -hmm. we're, we're losing, losing. <laughs> we're losing mm -hmm. yeah well i hope that this information was helpful for you when it comes to the golden rule and maybe when you hear the golden rule you might chuckle a little bit <laughs> now knowing a, a different definition to the golden rule mm -hmm. but really think about it every single time you go to make a transaction make a purchase or finance something who is really in control mm -hmm. is it you or is it the banks and I would say, at least for us, until we understood this, nine times out of 10, it was the banks. 
because we were financing things, swiping the credit card and paying the interest on the back end. Oh yeah, it's definitely 10 times out of 10. If you don't understand <laughs> what's going on, you're definitely paying the banks. Yeah. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information regarding becoming your own banker and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Make sure you always, always remember to own your own lifestyle. Or the banks will. <laughs>